Hey everyone, so today I wanted to share some comfort reads and these are books that I just gravitate towards, especially during trying times. And I just find it soothing to jump into some books that are pleasant reads. So if you guys have any comfort reads, let me know down below in the comments, but let's get started with the first pick I have is Matilda. And this is by Roald Dahl and I actually don't remember reading this when I was a kid. So I recently picked up this copy. This is from the last bookstore and I actually got this pretty much right before COVID-19 happened and I've really enjoyed reading this. And of course, if you guys are familiar with Matilda's story, she is a lover of books. She is a child prodigy genius and her parents don't really know what to do with her. She actually befriends the librarian down the street and she is just exposed to all of the books in the library and she goes on to do really well in school and of course Miss Honey is just the most heartwarming character that comes into Matilda's life and I really really love this book. Matilda also has some cool powers but definitely read this and again it's just a really charming read and I love the illustrations in this book. I love all the Roald Dahl illustrations um, but the next book that I have is Little Women. And this is a pick that I had for my book club when I was doing my book club. I have recently decided to stop doing the book club just because I'm not the best host uh, when it comes to curating that. So um, I've just decided to have a bookstagram Instagram account instead. I think that's more fitting. But anyway, Little Women, of course, if you guys have seen the movie, if you guys have read this, it's definitely worth revisiting because I love the morals and the lessons that are taught in this book and I love the way this book is written. And I actually have not read Little Men or Joe's Boys, but I plan to do so this year later on, but I really love this edition as well. This is one of the Barnes & Noble leather bound series. They have this whole series of classics where they're leather bound and they're just beautiful. I mean, look at these pages, look at just the way this book design is done. It's just really gorgeous. Um, but again, Little Women, I just love pretty much everything about the story. It was actually lengthier than I remembered it being too. So that was good to just dive into and be consumed in a good read. This book is also light and charming, which is definitely one that I would consider a comfort read. So the next book I'm going to recommend is a series of books, and it is A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, and this is something that I dream of doing when I become an author, is if I ever attempt kids books, this is the type of novel that I want to make <laughs> because I love the writing, I love the illustration, I love to write and illustrate my own stories, um, and this it would be heavily inspired by Lemony Snicket. I absolutely love this series and I haven't even read the entire series yet. I've only read up to book seven and there's 13 or 14 books I believe in this series, but again I love the way this book design is done, the original series. I don't really like the updated copies. I think it kind of takes away from it. I, I really love the original hard copy series. Um, but again, I love the illustrations, I love the story, and the way Lemony Snicket intertwines um, some lessons, like heartfelt lessons and also vocabulary words for children and young adults alike. And I just absolutely love this story. I love the story of the Baudelaire's. Um, they become orphans and Count Olaf is after their fortune. And he does, he tries so many ways to get to their fortune unsuccessfully, um, as far as I know. Anyway, the last book that I'm going to recommend is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And this is probably my favorite classic that I've read. My other favorite classic that I would consider is Hamlet by William Shakespeare, of course. Um, but I really love Jane Eyre. This is the first classic that I think I read that I really just fell in love with. It just hit home for me. And you can see some pages where I've underlined lines and I've dog-eared pages and whatnot. And I don't do this anymore with my books. I think I might pick up some book darts from Amazon because um, I think that might be a better way to like keep my books looking nice. Um, so that's what I'm thinking of doing. But I love Jane Eyre. There is a feminist theme throughout this book and also the ending of this book, which I love 
there is a twist at the end that I adore. It made me openly gasp as I was reading. I went, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's what happened. Anyway, these are my comfort reads that I instantly thought of sharing with you guys. Check out the info bar because I'm gonna add another book that I actually just finished reading. That's probably the most charming book I've ever read. But I hope you guys like this video and are having a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.